Alyssa, can we talk about how you were feeling when you confronted Teresa about the rumor? Well, they're talking about the rumor on camera, so I guess it's time to talk about it. You called my husband over to your house by yourself? Get off of me! To tell Get him off of me! That I was in a car with a guy all by himself and you thought he was to help me? Friend, Teddy. What the hell's going on? She didn't think he told me. She told him, never tell Melissa that I brought you here. She said that? Yes, and he listens to her. It's weird. Thickens. But like now we're going to talk about the real facts about what went down. When I was protecting her and Joe was protecting Teresa for so long about the fact that she called my husband to her house behind my back with her husband, the three of them, to talk about how Melissa's a cheater. And she didn't just say the rumor that Laura said. Margaret's friend caught you in the back seat of a car kissing a guy. She said with multiple men. They like doubled down. It was like they wanted that man to leave the house and divorce me. This rumor got out and she's blaming me. It's put on me. Meanwhile, I never said it on camera. Louie told my brother privately. Well, you, she blames Louie. And she says, well, Louie wanted me to call Joe and have him come over. You don't get in between two people and just call up one and say these things. Well, he's my blood, he's my brother. Well, over a baseless rumor. My husband was so disgusted, he walked out and basically never talked to his sister again. If you look at the timeline, like he wouldn't go to the housewarming party. He didn't want to see her, he didn't want to talk to her. I mean, nobody knew for all of these months, like why Joe is so standoff and why Joe is so annoyed and why Joe hasn't come around. Well, gee, let's see. He's been married for 18 years with three children and she's calling him over with this guy she met on the streets a year ago mm -hmm. to tell him to basically leave me. You know, it's happening again. Like a hamster like, wheel. Yes. And no, and it's happening again, like what happened with the whole stripper gate that I got blamed for. He goes, this, that you used to work for him at, at a gentleman's club and used to dance for him. And I'm getting blamed for this and it's like, are you kidding me? It's like such a joke and that, I swear, it's like so over it. So you need hard proof when your own husband, when he had burner phones, was doing all this stuff. There was rumors out there. You think he ever fooled around behind your back? Listen, he had a separate cell phone with one girl. What? But someone who's actively trying to get on the show, cause drama, goes to the, the, the sister-in-law and Jennifer, who hate Margaret and Melissa the most, to say this rumor. Miss Laura was trying to get in touch with me and Teresa to just tell us stuff. To lay dirt on our ex-best friend. There's no fact basis, no proof whatsoever, but that's proof enough for you to call your brother and tell your brother your, his wife is definitively cheating on him. And then you said a bunch of other stuff and that she, he should leave her. You know, and I'm saying it's it's actually insane. Melissa, you and Joe ultimately decide not to attend Teresa's wedding. Just didn't feel right. So you guys going to the wedding? Dolores, how can I go and celebrate someone else's marriage when they are the people that is are constantly trying to destroy mine? It felt like it would be more of a circus if we went than if we didn't go. And I think we did them a favor by not going almost because it's about her and it was about that and everyone doesn't have to talk about the chaos that went down with us. 48 hours prior. Because you're a loser. You're trying to take Excuse me? Yes, you called my husband to your house to tell him that I was in a car with a guy? Wow. I say wow. I say wow. I knew that this was two days before Teresa's wedding. This was a problem. I didn't think there was enough time to come back for it before her wedding. And I don't want to be the one that's told. You know, if she asks me, do you think my brother's coming to the wedding? I, I will say no, right? Yes. And I probably feel like she's going to be the, feeling the same way. I think it was mutual at this point. You know, I had asked if they would still be coming to the wedding, and she said no. They hate us, obviously. They don't, they're not happy with us. I'm not surprised. It was very toxic. It really was. And I was terrified. Because, like, look what my brother, he's all about the theatrics. I'm going to break your f***ing balls. Go ahead. F***ing right now. Stop, Stop with, with the theatrics. Stop you, you, with the theatrics. Right. Boom. My wife's not in the f***ing wedding. F*** you. Her family's not in the wedding. F*** 
them. I was scared my brother was gonna cause a scene at my wedding. And I was like, I don't, do not want that. <laughs> like, this is my wedding day. Maybe it was better that they didn't come <laughs> because like, I did not want anyone ruining my wedding. And I didn't put it past him because he ruined his own son's christening. Take right, off this garbage. Stop, stop, stop. Why'd you invite me then? It was a technicality, I think. Yeah, whatever. It is that side. We just thought it would be crazy that Louis was literally charging me the night before to like attack me. Why are you looking like that? Your eyes are like, what's the matter? Why oh, you there's nothing wrong, you sweetheart. I'm the one getting all the sh Thank you very much. No, 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 no. You're Back the f I am. I am. Oh, yeah. What? All right, what don't you no, no, no. Don't bring don't it to me. Don't do it. Don't this all just came out. Laura has been saying, Margaret's friend caught you in the back seat of a car kissing a guy. And the fact that she's been trying to hurt my marriage and the two of them together sat my husband down. I already heard this story, and do you want to know how? Tell me. Through my husband, because his sister called him over to his house secretly without me to tell him this story behind my back. And then what, I'm going to go sit in the pews and say, you know, Happy marriage, like good luck and God bless. I feel like I was worried going into that party, just worried that if this did come out, that Joe and Melissa would use this in their mind, they consider a publicly valid reason to not go to the wedding. Because of all of this hidden stuff that's really not on the table, but they know, yeah, like their hearts weren't in it. They had no valid excuse to not want to go, so even I did though them they a favor. didn't. It was like, here is our answer. Now, if anybody comes at us, we can say, well, uh -huh. she said that I cheated, so why should I go to her wedding? This whole three months, is, it's been nothing but games. If they were upset about something, they should have just, you know, checked out a long time ago. The day after the finale, I remember this so vividly. We're standing in the kitchen, and Joe called John and was like, we're not going to the wedding. And he was on speaker. And I was like, Joe, before you really make this decision, like, I want you to think about this for a second. Like, this is your sister's wedding. I want you to just make sure that, like, you're strong in your conviction. This is what you guys really want to do. And he felt very strongly that, like, him and Melissa did not want to go. That was their decision. And for me, how disingenuous is that to go to, you know, his sister's wedding when all of this just transpired two days before the wedding. These two are the ones who met up with her. Okay. They're talking behind our backs well, yes. and she's telling Why us she's to our face. You guys are such losers. Look at you. 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 I don't give a f Thank you, thank you, thank you. Because I'm a winner. I'm winning. She's winning. For me, I need to support my friend. I have to stand true in what I think is the right thing. And I don't think me sitting there celebrating her marriage when like Louis just tried to you know, whatever that was. Why are you looking like that? Your eyes are like, what's the matter? Why are you oh, there's nothing wrong with you, sweetheart. I'm the one getting all the sh okay. Thank you very much. No, no, no. You're You're back the up. I am. I am. Oh, yeah. Don't you No, no, no. Don't bring it don't to Don't do it. And it just feels very, like, disrespectful to me. And it would be fake of me to sit there and celebrate her marriage. Good riddance. Makes sense. Really? Rachel is like, you know what? Melissa's my girl. I'm good. I don't need to go. I'm not surprised. Like, Rachel Food is the biggest follower out of them all. I understand why Rachel and John Poo didn't go. They don't really know Teresa and Louis that well. They've known them for a few months, who cares? I, I feel like they feel awkward. Who are they gonna hang out with? Yeah. What, they're gonna go there and celebrate? Louis and Teresa, they barely know them while Melissa and Joe are home. It makes sense. I actually respect Rachel Fuda for not coming. Agreed. Yep, respect her. Good, that, yep. that's mm -hmm. good. I respect Rachel for staying in her truth yeah. and staying a loyal friend. I was t totally fine with that. I think it's the right thing to do if that's how they feel. Don't. Go somewhere you don't want to be. Yeah, I don't. I don't want them coming if they don't want to be there. And if they want to support their friend, then that it, they have every right to do that if that's how they felt about it. I'm happy that you know this is. She got what she wanted. She's been through a lot. I sent them a gift, which I did not have to do. Cash gift. I think they sent as much as I did, which I think is crazy. But the food is very generous. I think they had guilt feelings. You know, I know they spent a lot of money on their wedding. I felt like that was the right thing too, but. We, you know, we went down the shore and, you know, my parents were there, they were with the kids, and we went to Joe's and Melissa's and we just were a support system for them. We felt that was the right thing to do. Yeah, and I didn't expect you to do it. I didn't no, ask her to do it, but no. I did appreciate that she, you know, my other good friends that she invited to the wedding did not go either. Mm -hmm. Just because it was like, 
they it's would so, feel it's so it's it's fake. But if you would have went to the wedding, I would have been okay. I would have been fine with it. No, like, listen, I'm being honest. If I had built a relationship with Teresa like I have with Jen Fessler, I would have been at that wedding. Right. But I didn't have that. So I'm not going to sit here and pretend right. that I want to be there when I don't really care. You know, like right. it's just not where I need to be.